It's the final episode. Da -da 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 -da. Bro, you're so cringe. <laughs> it's the final episode, ladies and gentlemen. We are here with the finale of season one. Now, when I say the final episode, I don't mean of me reacting to the show. Trust me, I am continuing this show. I am loving it. But we are here with the final episode of the first season, which is super exciting. It's been a, it's been a journey. Now, last episode, crazy. Lots of reveals, lots of crazy drama, but very well done drama, very good writing, very good character development. I'm excited, man. So without further ado, we are going to jump right in to the finale. Just make sure to subscribe, go check out the Patreon page, all that stuff, because all of season one is now on Patreon. Linked in the description below, go check it out. And it's just a great way to support the channel. So feel free. Now, without further ado, let's get in. To the finale of season one. Let's go! Dang, we're not even getting a previously on the Vampire Diaries. We're straight into it. Okay, I like it. We don't need a previously on. We remember. This stuff has been impactful, to say the least. Bonnie deactivated the Gilbert Invention. Isabel's gone. <laughs> and it's Founder's Day. I'm here to eat cotton candy and steal your girl. Don't start with me, Dan. Oh, you started it, Stefan, with that whole I'm insecure, leave a late alone speech. I'm just enjoying that. <laughs> as long as you heard it. <laughs> Goofy. Oh, gosh. Stick the landing, Vampire Diaries. Stick the landing. It's the finale. Come on. I have to get out of this town, Jeremy. You're leaving? But I've been thinking. You could come with me. I could turn you. I mean, you said you wanted me to. Wanted to. You didn't. When Vicky was involved. I don't think I can. I'm sorry. Why? Why? I want to know why, though. I mean, maybe he doesn't care for Anna as much as I would like him to, but I want to know why he wouldn't want to do that. I want one to find you. Okay. Here, I can take it. <laughs> I'll be on the float. <laughs> I said I was sorry. You made out with his mother and then you beat him to a pulp. Yeah, what? You're going to have to do a little bit better than sorry. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I said sorry. I was in marching band once for two days. Hated it. Uh, I'm not a fan. Like it felt like being a part of the military or something. Please welcome our stunning Miss Mystic Falls Court and their handsome escort. <laughs> this is Caroline Forbes, Miss Mystic Falls. Yeah, Caroline. Woo! Beautiful. She deserves the win. I love that. I didn't like that episode, but. I'm glad it, I'm glad she got her moment. I want to say something to you. Just leave me alone. Thank you. The device that Emily spelled could have killed me. I don't take what you did lightly, so thank you. I did it for Elena. I know that, but I'm still very grateful. And I owe you. Uh that's awkward because guess what damon she didn't do it <laughs> yeah so how does it work yeah it's a high pitch frequency that humans can't hear any vampire within a five block radius will be incapacitated exposing them oh. at that time the sheriff's v5 deputies will inject them with ravine and bring them here where we'll finish them off and you're certain they're attacking tonight i had a source <gasps> no anna anna what are you doing here don't join them. Dang, I'm conflicted. Because on the one hand, they are going to attack and try to kill humans. So they should be taken down. But on the other hand, I mean, John and them, they can't just kill vampires because they're vampires. But see, that was why I'm conflicted. Because before, I thought they were just trying to kill vampires to kill them. But now, those vampires they're trying to kill are going to try and kill them too. So, but I don't want Anna to get caught in it or Damon or Stefan. They don't deserve to get killed. 
Uh, what are you doing? Saving your life. Fifteen words or less. Two vamps are here. Founding family's at the target. Get her out of here. Now. Wait, wait, wait. Where are you going? It's more than 15 words, Stephanie. <laughs> wait. Jeremy's out here somewhere. That's why I'd like to dedicate this evening's fireworks display to their legacy. Oh, no. Here we go. <laughs> oh, this is hype. This is hype. What's going to happen? How's this going to go down? Oh, there are the fireworks. Stay close. Dude. Time for the attack. Oh, I love the tension. This is so fun. Like, I just don't know what's gonna happen. Does Tyler's parents survive? I don't know. Does Bonnie survive? I don't know. Any idea what you've done? Oh. Yes. As a matter of fact, I do. Dude, I don't know how Damon gets out of this. That noise. Wait, what noise? What? How? How? Oh. How? Whoa. How the frick is Tyler a vampire? Vicky? Maybe? No! No! Hannah! Hey, leave her alone! Hey. Nah, we are not gonna kill Anna. It's okay, they have Damon too, so we could still save them. Oh, they're gonna torch him. Anna. Don't you kill Anna. Please. Screw you, John. No! 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 no. Uh. It's the Gilbert device. It has to be. But how did he get it to work? Bonnie unspelled it. Maybe she didn't. Where's Dan? I don't know. I haven't seen him since this started. Can you get my brother? Take him home? Of course. John Henry, or John Henry. John has to die. We have to kill John. I do not even care. He's, he's a dead man. We have to kill him. I can't believe the show did that to Anna. What? Yeah, what? what? The eyes. <sighs> what happened? Dude, don't scare me like that. She needs some help over here. Caroline! What happened to Caroline? Bro, what is happening in this episode? Dude, why did we kill Anna? I'm actually so triggered. Dang, who was that guy? We just killed him. Uh, I'm still hung up about Anna. I really like that character. Why did they do that? What are you doing here? Anna's dead. Oh. I figured that once they took her away. I took away your suffering once before. I can do it again. I know you think you took it away. But it's still there. What I did to Vicky was wrong. Sorry for my part. That was like one of his best scenes ever, by the way, in this whole freaking show. What a great scene. He didn't tell him who killed Anna, though. I wonder why. Guess we're saving that. Does that mean that John's gonna make it to season two? The last bits of Anna. Gone. What? I am so surprised. Genuinely, I thought he was gonna dump it down the drain. For sure. You saw what I was able to do tonight. I know who I am now. Ooh. And if Damon spills so much, as one drop of innocent blood, I'll take him down. Ooh, I like her new disposition. Okay, Bonnie, she's really stepping up. What are you doing here? Failed and feeble attempt at doing the right thing. Oh, this is weirdly cut together. That was forever ago. I feel like this scene should have happened right after his conversation with Jeremy, but okay. 
Which means that somewhere along the way, you decided that I was worth saving. The, no, this is wrong. And part of why I hate the vampire so much is because of what she became. Please tell me this is Catherine. That would be great. It's Catherine. Catherine. Yes. Hello, John. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah. Kill him. Oh, yeah. Holy crap. Jeremy, are you up? What? No. <laughs> great great finale that was a good finale overall loved it we, we have to give 30 seconds to my girl anna rest in peace best character on the show you can disagree with me in the comments if you want but you're wrong anna's the best character on the show loved her she was great all she ever wanted was to live her life with her mother. Maybe find a little love as well. Live a semi-decent life, normal. And she got staked. <sighs> you guys definitely should go check this out on Patreon. Um, I literally sat here in silence for like a minute after Anna died. That was the only time in this episode where I genuinely felt teary-eyed i'm not even joking the way it was done mm, i hated that but other than that the vampires from the tomb planning their attack on the town and the town planning their attack on the vampires at the same time loved it that was really sick and the reveal of tyler and his dad not being normal humans was cool Pretty sure Tyler's a werewolf. I think that was what that was. Because I think the eyes, when the medic opened his eye and they were like, what the heck? That looked like Haley from the originals. It looked like her eyes when she would become a, a werewolf. And we haven't had werewolves yet on this show. So I think they are werewolves. I love that that was Catherine at the end because that was also going to be another gripe I had that Elena was willing to just make out with Damon after saying to Stefan, you have no nothing to worry about. I was like, no, this is horrible writing. But no, it was so good of writing that I thought it was bad writing because of how good it was. Love that. That's a great way to bring Catherine back. She killed John by chopping his fingers off and then stabbing him. That's awesome. What a great way to introduce Catherine back into the mix. I think that's great. Jeremy killed himself to become a vampire. That's awesome. What a great way to take that character I can't wait to see where we're at with him next season. He already acts like a vampire. He's all, all broody and stuff all the time anyways. So now he's just going to be perfect for that. He's a vampire. So that's awesome. I wonder if season two is going to pick up right where that scene left off, where Elena's going to walk into the kitchen and, and, and see Catherine. Or more likely, she's going to walk into the kitchen and just see John dead on the ground. John needed to die. He needed to die. After he killed Anna, he was a dead man. In my mind. We had to kill him. And I love the way we killed him. Chopping his fingers off and then stabbing him. Yes! He had to go out in a bad way. And that was perfect. So, love that. I love Bonnie's whole disposition on everything. I think that's great. The way she talks to Stefan there. Where it's like, we're kind of at a standoff in a way, a standstill between each other. We have a mutual understanding of where each of us stand. If you step over, if you or your brother step over the line, I will kill you. Obviously, if I try to kill you, you're gonna try to kill me, and it is what it is. Elena's our common friend, I guess, the thing that keeps us at a standoff, but otherwise we would kill each other. That's awesome, I love that. I don't know why they had to do the thing with Caroline though. Why does she have internal bleeding? Why is she having surgery done? Like. Why did we have to put her through that? I don't know. Um, but hopefully, you know, I'm sure she'll be fine. Damon and Jeremy's scene where J Jeremy and Damon, like we're in Jeremy's room when Damon was trying to talk to him and apologize and stuff. 
well written, love that, well acted from both of them. Probably Damon's best scene in the entire series so far. He did really well there. Uh, Jeremy was really good too. But I think that's one of those things. I'm not saying the other actors are not good actors, but Jeremy is one of those actors in this show that is just above the others in my opinion. I think he's just such a good actor. And I think having him in a scene with Damon, I think allowed Damon's actor to be really good too. And I think them bouncing off of each other just worked really well. I thought Damon, this episode, was just a really good character. I thought he was really well written. I think he's come a long way. And I don't hate Damon anymore. I've hated him all season. As the season's progressed, I've hated him less and less. Don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong. He will not be forgiven ever for what he did to Lexi. I remember that. Don't think I forgot. Or Vicky. Sure, he apologized here in this episode about Vicky. Fair enough. But an apology for killing someone? I know he didn't technically kill Vicky, but he did. He set her up to get killed. And then Lexi, he straight up murdered. So we can, and then he freaking abused Caroline for episodes. We can never fully forgive Damon for what he has done. But you know what I mean? Like he's better. He's better than he was. He's, he's on the journey to becoming a better person, which is good good but you can never forgive him for those things. Stefan, you know, he got through his troubling times with the blood throughout this season. He's good now as he was at the beginning of the season. He's a good guy and we're continuing on with him as the good guy. Love that. Elena didn't actually betray Stefan there. Love that. You know, Elena's had a lot of faults throughout this whole season. She's still not anything perfect by any means but She's definitely been a bit better in the last couple episodes, so that's good at least. The body count has been crazy this season. Um, we ended up losing Vicky. We lost uh, Tyler's dad, although that one's not a huge loss. Uh, we lost John Gilbert. Again, not a huge loss. Lexi, obviously, which sucked. Oh, Bonnie's grandmother, which sucked. She was a good character. Anna. <sighs> Pearl. Sucks that she had to die. We have lost people left, right, and center this season. Oh, and we lost the history teacher at the beginning of the season, but screw him. He sucked. So that's okay that we lost him too. I think that concludes everything I got to say about the first season of The Vampire Diaries. Let me know in the comments. Do you want me to do a live stream to just kind of talk about season one? Like, you know, rank, tier list the characters, really go into depth on my character, on all the characters and how I feel about each one and, and stuff. Because if we do that, we could come back at the end of season two and do, you know, do a follow up with that again. We could just do a lot of tier lists and stuff. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me do that. I did it for Smallville. That's why I'm kind of saying this. So let me know in the comments if you want to do that with me on a live stream. I think that could be fun, but loved this season. Loved watching it on, on the channel. Can't wait to get into season two. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comments below. Do me a favor if you haven't already. Subscribe, hit the like button, and hit the bell so you get notified every time I'm dropping a new episode of The Vampire Diaries. Also, go check out the Patreon page linked in the description below. Over there, you can watch the entire season now from the beginning of each episode to the end of each episode without any cuts and stuff. You can watch all that over there on the Patreon page as long as you have your own copy of the episodes. I've been watching it on Max. So if you have Max or some form of watching it, then take that with you over to Patreon and watch the entire season with me. Also, it's just a great way to support the channel. And if you do become a patron, you get shouted out at the end of every single video. So shouting out the patrons, we have Everton V, The Superman Batman, Tina, 1204, and Christina Renee. Thank you guys so much for being patrons. Thanks again for watching and hopefully I will see you again in season two. That's a wrap. Woo! I am on break. I'm gonna live like a king by doing my thing. Hey, I am on break. I'm gonna live life free. I'm gonna do it like me. Yeah, yeah. I am on break. No, this is not fake. I'm just chilling on break.